Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm here in Blackpool and in this video I'm going to show you how to find the planet Venus. Okay so I'll just show you where I am. I'm in Blackpool here looking out towards the west and look at that the sun's going down and there's something I want to show you first. Check this out. Now then if you saw my autumnal equinox video from September you'll see that I was facing down this very road here and we were looking at the sun setting right at the end of the road well now we are now mid-october and you can see just how far the sun has shifted so you can now see that the sun has shifted right over here and as we go towards the winter it's going to continue on and on and on until it gets right over here on the winter solstice anyway let's get down to the promenade and i'll tell you all about how to find venus Okay, so I'm now on Blackpool Promenade and I've just got to show you this panorama because this looks absolutely amazing. Just check out this view we have here from Blackpool. Look at that. Amazing. I can even see the Isle of Man. But look at this view over here. We can even see Snowdonia as well. Can you see that over there? That is Snowdonia right there. Absolutely amazing. I'll show you all the way around. If we look behind where I started, just up this street here, I started up there. Can you see that pink band up there? That's the Belt of Venus. Now, I don't really know how it got the name Belt of Venus because it's not really anything to do with the planet. It's just the effect of the Earth's shadow rising. Can you see that bluey grey? That's the Earth's shadow rising. And the pink bit above it, the Belt of Venus, is the atmosphere. The sun's shining through the atmosphere of Earth. How amazing is that? The sun went down just over there. The tower's lighting up. Now anyway, the illuminations will be on in a minute. Anyway, in this video I want to show you how to find the actual planet Venus in the sky. Now there are good times and there are bad times. Now, funny enough at the moment it's not such a great time to spot Venus, but it is possible to spot it after sunset. Now Venus is at eastern elongation and what that means, remember Venus is on the inside of the Earth's orbit of the Sun and that means it swings around the Sun and it can be on the eastern side or the western side. When it's on the eastern side we get to see Venus after sunset. When it's on the western side we get to see Venus before the Sun rises. So what that means is the best times to see Venus are when it's at its greatest distance away from the Sun from our perspective. That means when it's at its greatest western elongation, when we would see it in the morning, or when it is at its greatest eastern elongation, which is when we would see it now after sunset. And at the moment, it's at a decent distance from the Sun, you know, but the only problem is at the moment is that the ecliptic, that's the path that the planets take that's the path of the solar system the path of the sun is at a very shallow angle after sunset so and that's why it's going to be quite low in the sky so it might be difficult to spot well i've just met a fan there jd sunderland if you're watching this video is for you Anyway, I've just spotted Venus. I've just spotted it and it's as clear as a bell. Just wait until you see this. Check this out, the illuminations are on. Look at this. But there's an illumination out here which I want to show you and that is the planet Venus. It's been spotted. It's just over here above this cloud here. I'll zoom in, let's see if we can see it, shall we? Now then, can you see that now? That bright spot, I'm not sure if it's in focus, but that bright spot there, above that dark cloud is the planet Venus. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's kicking off here. A dog fight in the background here. <laughs> anyway, we've had our first sighting of Venus and I'm only filming it using my mobile phone, so I'm not sure if it looks that great, but don't worry, we'll get a closer look at it when I use my big camera a bit later on. But before I do that, I want to tell you a bit about why Venus is where it is okay so i'll try and explain this as simple as i can it's very very complicated the way that these planets work but i'll try and explain what's going on so the sun set about 45 minutes ago and the sun is somewhere down here well below the horizon probably by i don't know probably maybe 
10 degrees or so below the horizon now over here and Venus is right over here so it's quite a distance away from the Sun it's got quite a good elongation you know when I was talking about elongation away from the Sun it's, it's almost at a right angle to the Sun from our position so if you were to look at the phase of Venus it would look like a half Venus because it's almost at a right angle to the Sun the Sun is somewhere down here okay now I mentioned before that when Venus is at its greatest elongation that means when it's its furthest away in distance from the Sun as we can see it from our perspective that should be a good time to see it so why is it so low in the sky okay now I have explained this in previous videos but not relating to the planets or Venus or anything like that at this time of year the ecliptic that's the path of the Sun and it's the path that all the major planets follow happens to be quite shallow at this time of year after sunset which means Venus is going to be low down after sunset the Sun is somewhere down here which means it's a very shallow ecliptic yeah check this out there is a planet Venus and you see that landmass on the horizon there you know what that is that is Snowdonia in Wales what an absolutely amazing view of Snowdonia we have got tonight it is incredible and there's Venus shining away in the sky just up there now in the morning the ecliptic is flipped it's actually quite steep in the morning at this time of year so if Venus is on the opposite side of the Sun to where it is now in the morning we'd have, we'd have a very good chance of spotting it well before sunrise because it would be much higher up because the ecliptic is much steeper in the morning at this time of year okay so Venus is getting lower and lower and it won't be long before it sets you can see it there in that uh, orange sky if the sky is still lit up orange it looks really really nice and here's another thing Venus can often be mistaken for a UFO we've often heard stories about it when it's low down like this of drivers seeing this bright light ahead of them on the road even pilots airline pilots have been confused by this light of Venus you know when it's low down like this it can really it can really play tricks with the mind when it's low down like this Venus when it's low down see that there it looks absolutely amazing it can often be mistaken for a UFO how about that eh amazing okay I just met another fan there and he wanted me to give a shout out to his mother so Peggy in Burnham on Sea this video is also for you check this out the illuminations are now shining really brightly look at this so there you go that was how to find the planet Venus in the sky at this time of year after sunset now as we go on into the year into November and December it's going to get better slightly better because Venus is going to travel further away from the Sun as it comes round and as we go into the new year what's going to happen is it's going to come round our side of the Sun and eventually it will pass in between us and the Sun and that means inferior conjunction which means we won't be able to see it and what will happen then it will swing around the other side of the Sun and it will then become the morning star oh it's getting really dark now I hope you can see me anyway I hope you like this video about how to find Venus and if you see a really bright object low on the western horizon if you're driving down the road and you see a really bright object on the horizon it might just be Venus and I hope I've explained a little bit about why it is where it is anyway I hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.